Okay, this is take two of this technique, which I may or may not have included on the DVD that you have. So when I say take two, it means the first time didn't work the way I wanted it to. I'm hoping it works this time. So first thing you're going to do in this one, and it involves a little bit of drying time, is you're going to take your first color of paint, and I'm going to use a blue, and basically the blue is called, um, well, I have no idea, primary blue. Well, there's a hard one. Okay. Smooth this on as I have before with my brayer. Get it as even as I can and fairly thin. Good even coverage. Okay, that looks good. So now we're going to go away. We're going to let this dry for three to five minutes. Okay, I'm back. That was about three minutes, and as you can see, it's pretty much dry. So now I'm going to lay down my second color, and I'm going to use a sort of a violet, magenta, whatever you want to call it. And just a thin layer on this. And I just used my wrong briar. I used the one that I was using to press on pieces of paper, but that's okay. So you smooth this over, get a good, even coat, but thin that off. Okay, now you're going to take a stencil and I'm going to use this really fancy uh, butterfly one. Lay it down. And then I'm going to take a piece of copy paper. Just ordinary paper you put in your printer. And just press lightly to get the stencil in there. And it blots up a little bit of the color. And it may have blotted up too much of the color. And I'm going to take some bubble wrap. And just add some texture in spots okay now I'm going to take the stencil off and I'm going to let this dry again probably two minutes or so probably won't take that long so I'll be back okay so that was about two and a half minutes and again it's dry so now we're going to put one more layer on and I'm using sort of a neutral background for this and I'm using a unbleached titanium which is basically an off-white so again just putting a little dab on and roll it out and you want to cover the full surface of this as evenly as possible okay here we go let's see what happens we're going to take a piece of our cardstock place it down Smooth it out. And let's do the reveal. Let's hope this time it worked. Ooh, I think it did. Look at that. That is magnificent. That would make a really nice card background. Right there. That looks very, very good. So that time, the technique worked. All right. Now I'm going to show you something a little even more advanced, but fun.